You're listening to Just the Tip with Charlie and Arian of Sex Because. You're so sexy! Dear Sex Because, I love sex with my partner. That's great. Mm -hmm. It is phenomenal. That's even better. It is phenomenal. I do have one question, though. (laughs) We attended your kinky workshop in Jamaica where you discussed sex positions. Okay. Arian. You said you enjoyed All these questions for you. I know. Send me some damn questions, Uh, people. I know a little bit about sex. I'm letting you know. (laughs) I'm here for a reason. Go ahead. He knows a lot about it. Okay. Uh, Where was I at? Okay. Arian, you said you enjoyed writing Charlie. Charles, actually. And could could do it for hours. Mm -hmm. I did say that. And Mm -hmm. I do Mm -hmm. write you for hours. She does write me for hours. Can you please explain to me how you do this? Because I ride my husband for three minutes and I'm exhausted. Tired in Tallahassee. <laughs> Whoa, man. One thing I tell you is I'm going to help her out with this one because she did make a list of things that she does. And I'm going to look at her list because I, I, I can agree. What I feel like is I need to kind of vouch for that she because you can't see what's going on in our bedroom. OK, we yeah. do make videos. We keep them for ourselves. The She does change up the timing a lot. She will change up the timing when I she's do, on top. But not not a, not erratically. Not like erratically. I, I like to get. um get a rhythm first yeah yeah uh, so we can get our pacing and then build the uh arousal up to i mean nearly orgasm and then stop and then change she knows how to play the game okay she may not know how to segue on a podcast but she definitely knows how to segue (laughs) in the bedroom so she will ride 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 she knows how to roll her hips you can see the way she dances if you're in our instagram she knows how to roll her hips in multiple (laughs) ways and i feel like that's a technique and an art that comes Um, uh yeah. Glad you said that because mm-hmm. if you use your hips, you don't have to use the rest of your body as much. Yeah. And it definitely gives you a breather, a yeah. break. I and noticed that. You get on your elbows and you put your elbows down and you'll just bang <laughs> yeah, your butt like back and down. You'll just you just do that and your hips will just move like this. So it's a lot like twerking. And then she'll get on the top mm-hmm. and she'll roll. There's a bunch of different ways that she does it. She probably has 10 or 12 ways to do that. We've had sex for 12, 14, 20 hours at a, in, a, in a day before. Yeah. And uh, she, we've had to learn techniques with each other that are much like uh, cr- turning this into a workout. I'll stop off that, though. I really could go off. starting to get really turned on yeah, right yeah. now. She's really I'm... sexy with that stuff. But you can change position and change timing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Also, uh, another way to take a break is to masturbate. Mm-hmm. So play with yourself while you're on top. I mean, that I don't want to speak for you, but that that can distract a little bit and add another element. So mm-hmm. you don't have to work your body as hard. Yeah. Yeah. My penis will still pulsate as she's starting to masturbate and it kind of slows things down. I watch her catching her breath, but she's still getting off and we still have that consistency of what's going on in the moment. Mm-hmm. And uh, it doesn't break anything again, like a nice little segue. It's something else that she does. Mm. I like it. <laughs> I like it. So another thing that she does is she bounces. She talks about bouncing a lot. She likes to bounce. She likes to feel her. She likes if you like to feel your breast bump up and down. And I like to thrust underneath her when she's bouncing. It, it it allows me to help her and give her a little bit of a breather too. I like the brow. I like the way that it looks. I like the way that it looks completely when she's naked and there. And you know, there's a lot going on here. So. I also like to like that to feel your hands on me when that's happening, mm-hmm. and that it helps like increase the energy. And I love that whenever yeah. you're. It does doing increase and the can, energy. You're and right I about can that. Feel my whole body moving. It breaks some beds, yeah. but it increases the energy. And we have broken <laughs> a lot of sleigh beds, which are not supposed to break. But we have br- we realized when we're telling you this is that we have broken beds since we've met each other. With not even just from bouncing, but from grinding. Grinding will break a break a bed before anything. And we like a lot of circular motions, a lot of hip motion, and what that does is that puts a lot of stress on the bed. So, got you. Okay, for anyone listening <laughs> right now, uh, mm. even watching the video, you can't see the bottom portion of the way you he's grinding. You can't see the bottom portion, but we like and to grind. I'm and she really grinds. distracted right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, remember, also, this is cardio. Yeah, it is cardio. So it is something to remember. It's a really great way to get your cardio in. It really is. It really know? is. Don't forget yeah. that piece. And she also invites me behind her. So, a lot of the times when you're. When you're uh, Riding on top, you have to remember that changing positions is okay because she'll invite me behind her doggy style, and then we'll get back. She'll get back on top again, mm-hmm. and that's a. I mean, that has a lot of fun, that has a fun dynamic to what we're doing because it's a quick switch in positions, and she'll say, "I want to be on top again." And I know what she's doing, and she likes to feel that exposure from doggy style. She likes to feel that exposure from mm-hmm. me being behind, but she also likes to take that break when she's riding because you know and just rest on my elbows and knees for a minute yeah Mm -hmm. and you should be always do the way that you like it and focus on that you have to do this the way that you want to 
uh, if you don't, if you want to do it for three minutes, do it for three minutes. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do it for four hours if that's not your thing. Yeah, yeah, energy is our thing. Energy is our thing in bed. But also, even if you watch the course of our podcast, you'll know our energy goes up and down and up and down. We usually are pretty, pretty connected with one another because of that, and we try not to be anything but other than other than who we are. So when you're having sex on top, feel the moment. It doesn't mean that you have to be on top for two hours because you're trying to prove something. Just do what you want to do. Right. Do what this feels is, good. This is about enjoyment. This is about enjoyment. Uh, you don't always have to perform. No, so you don't. don't forget about your enjoyment while you're trying to perform, if that's exactly. what you're wanting to do. Exactly. So yep. that is how you ride. That's how you ride. Kind of. There's yeah. some point. Sort of. Kind of. Sort of. Okay. 